Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroup in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for January 28th, 2022. This is the very last new arrival video in this location. We're getting ready to move the store. It's going to take place this weekend. I will be doing the new arrival video next week from the store uh, that we're moving to. I'm curious what the background's going to look like. Haven't quite laid it out all the way yet, but uh, it's probably only going to be half put together. But really looking forward to the move. So this is it for this location. All right. An absolute ton of killer new arrivals and restocks. Ton amount of stuff to get through today. But one of the coolest things, and I want to do a standalone video on this, and if I had not been so busy, I would have. But Contemporary is announcing a new box set. Ornette Coleman, the genius of genius. This is the Contemporary albums. This is two contemporary albums of his, all analog, cut from the original master tape by Bernie Grundman in a tip-on jacket. So this is essentially their version of a tome poet or their Verve series titles. So nice. I mean, I'm really hoping between the analog productions titles that are in stock, or they're coming back now, you know, not really been brought up to speed on that as far as the quantities that are getting issued. But with that and this, this is probably the beginning of a lot of contemporary Riverside and Prestige titles being put out onto the market in all analog form. So super looking forward to that. And also they are doing, now that comes out uh, March 25th. They are doing a mono, Piper at the Gates of Dawn. This was done as a record store day only release a couple years ago. They're already going for a hundred bucks. They were going for a hundred bucks pretty much the day they came out, but they're doing a standard release on it. My guess is this is going to be the same mastering as that. That was uh, done by Bernie Grunman. It actually sounds really good, but let's check it out. A couple minutes ago, I just filmed an unboxing video on this. It is live online now. I actually posted it a few hours before you're watching this, which is a couple hours from now, but uh, Ornette Coleman, round trip, did an unboxing on this, haven't listened to any of it. This is an unbelievably killer box, just the everything that's included, all this, you know, six tone poets all at one clip, everything Ornette Coleman did on Blue Note in LPs in one shot, absolutely fantastic. Dig, uh, I dig that. I hope uh, maybe they do some more box sets in the future. I hope that's not the only one. All right, Kenny Morrell, Midnight Blue. This is a Blue Note classic. Like the Tone Poet, this is all analog cut by Kevin Gray. The only difference is this is in the cheapy cover and costs about 35%, 40% less. But this Midnight Blue was heavily allocated the first time around. I never got the full shipment of it. But now we have a restock on it, as well as its partner in crime, Idle Moments. This was the uh, pairing title for the uh, release when it came out. Idle Moments, Grant Green, two amazing records, back in print, all analog. Cut by Kevin Gray. All right, so this is an addition to my top 100 imprint analog records you should own. Tom Petty's Full Moon Fever. This was actually included in the MCA box set, but this is the single release on blue vinyl. All analog cut by Chris Bellman from the original Master Tapes. This thing sounds absolutely dynamite. Killer sounding record. I have Tom Petty's Wildflowers on that list as well. Full Moon Fever, probably his last two great great albums so yeah the grateful dead fillmore west 1969 let's see now on vinyl for the first time the dead's complete performance from the 1969 four night run at the fillmore west originally recorded for live dead limited edition of 9000 this is a start your year off right let's see mixed and mastered from the original 16 analog 16 track analog tapes so the source was good, but you know, I'm guessing it would be because it was recorded specifically for an album. So I'm not sure if this is all analog, but the source material should be quite good. You know, the source uh, 16 track. Big restock from Analog Productions, the 45 RPM version of Miles Davis, Seven Steps to Heaven. From my imprint analog top 100 list, Buddy Holly self-titled. This is the 45 RPM version of Ted Nugent's self-titled album. It's got a 
killer, killer sounding stranglehold on it. Also from my top 100 imprint analog records you should own, Muddy Waters Folk Singer. Also from my imprint analog records you should own, top 100, Otis Redding's Otis uh, Sing Soul, Otis Blue. So killer sounding record. It's a little weird for a lot of people. This is a lot like the original Beatles capital releases to where it's hard pan stereo. But fidelity wise, it's fantastic. You don't find a lot of soul records that are recorded this well. If the panning bothers you, hit the mono button. Fixes the problem. But great record. Also from the top 100 imprint analog records, you should own this is the Door Soft Parade. Self-titled, which is not on the list, but not a bad sounding record, but I left the soft, per, excuse me, I left the self-titled and Strange Days off. They're the weaker sounding of the two, of the six that were done. They always have been. The Doors Morrison Hotel. You know, the uh, first two albums were recorded really close to one another on uh, more dated equipment. When they got to the third album, the equipment quality went up. The sound quality went up as well. Dusty in Memphis, also from my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list. All right, new from Kraft, Carol King and James Taylor, live at the Troubadour. Lacquer's cut by Bernie Grunman. 2007 performance. Oh man, I'm looking forward to uh, season, what is it, season four? The Marvelous Miss Maisel. This is a, uh, what is this, Amazon uh, Amazon Prime TV show. Absolutely fantastic. The cinematography on this is, I love this show. I just, I can't tell you anything more than that. I think it's a fantastic series. I'm super, you know, looking forward to uh, season four. But uh, yeah, the soundtrack is really good too. The soundtrack is one of the highlights of the series. Really heavily focused on jazz standards, but uh, yeah, really good. Another Start Your Year Off right title, Urban Cowboy, the original motion picture soundtrack. Never thought I would see a reissue of this record, but here it is. This is on what, Blue Vinyl? Yeah, Blue Vinyl. The Ramones, Rocket to Russia, another Start Your Year Off right title. This is on clear vinyl. This actually came out last week, but I forgot to show it to you guys. Never made it in my uh, pile. Bonobo's Fragments. Double clear 140 gram vinyl with lenticular sleeve. But uh, yeah. The back is lenticular as well. All right, so this is a new series that it looks like Bethlehem is doing. I don't know too much about it. Uh, Dexter Gordon, Daddy Plays the Horn. Bethlehem and BMG are credited on the back of this. Doesn't give you any mastering information, but uh, yeah. It is an official release. Tori Amos, Ocean to Ocean. Looks like a yeah, all new record. And we've got the soundtrack to Sing 2. The next in the series from PJ Harvey, we've got Let England Shake. And like all the other albums that have been reissued by her is the uh, companion demo album, Let England Shake the Demos. All right, St. Paul and the Broken Bones, the Alien Coast. We've got two versions. We've got the standard version and we've got the indie exclusive gold nugget vinyl limited edition. All right, Margot Price. That's how rumors get started. It's got a barcode over the old barcode. This might be an exclusive color or something. I'm sure we list it on the website. But typically that signifies that, you know, this is a limited edition. So, yeah. Some more Slayer reissues. Show No Mercy. 
Let's see, 180 gram black vinyl with lyric photo insert and large poster. All right, let's see, Buck Cherries, Hellbound. On Round Hill Records. 311's Greatest Hits. I remember I was in high school, no, I was in middle school when 311 started coming around in the 90s. And I had a friend of mine who wanted to be in a band and wanted to, you know, he wanted to write music. And I remember he would write songs and he'd read them to me and he'd tell me, what do you think of this, Mike? And I was like, you know, I was honest with him. I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's very good. And I don't think that's very good. He comes to me one day and he kind of sings me a song and he goes, you know, what do you think? I'm like, you know, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good, you know. I think you should go with that. That that might that might work out well for you. It was a 311 song. He was uh, reading me the lyrics too. Uh, I didn't really listen to a lot of current music in the 90s. That was kind of when I first, when I was young, seventh, eighth grade. That's kind of when I discovered the Doors and the Stones and Zeppelin and Floyd's. That's kind of what I was listening to. Escape the Fate. What's the name of this album? Dying is your latest fashion. Marshmallow, Shockwave, Classic Black Vinyl. Elves, Extreme Witchcraft, new studio album. Elves, E-E-L-S, I wouldn't begin to know how you'd pronounce that. DJ Kaysley, Acolytes. Let's see. All right. Simon Fleece. All the bright coins. It's kind of cool. They uh, made his eye like a little metallic coin. Let's see. Fruit bat. Sometimes a cloud is just a cloud. That's true. This is uh, limited edition. 2LP Pink and Violet, Violet Swirl Vinyl. The Comeback Kid on Nuclear Blast. This is on White Vinyl. Heavy, heavy Steps. Dokken. Breaking the Chains. This is a Friday Music reissue. They've kind of been on a tear lately reissuing albums that you know, 10 years ago, nobody could care less about, but uh, people want now. Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. This is Wrong Creatures. All right, The Who, Odds and Sods, Half Speed Master. This was actually originally a Record Store Day UK only release. This is Odds and Sods, and then there's a bonus disc. Soundgarden, King Animal. To this set. I don't know why this is in here. I feel like this is a, yeah, this is 2012 this came out, but I don't think this is a modern reissue. I think, or I don't think this is a new reissue. I think that's just a restock. Bob Marley and the Whalers, Redemption Song, original 12 inch with B-Sides and clear vinyl. This is a 12 inch single of Redemption Song, a band version, and also I Shot the Sheriff live. The Plot in You, Swan Song, limited to 1,200 copies on Peach Fuzz Vinyl. So yeah. Checking out the cover there, a little, little blurry. All right, yes, 9012 Live. This is by Friday Music as well. Wiz Khalifa, Cushion Orange Juice. All right.
And for the first time in 20 years, according to this here hype sticker, a new Jethro Tull album. This is a limited edition 3LP with two Blu-rays and a 5.1 surround sound mix. So yeah, no need for them to reissue it in the future. You're pretty much just getting everything you'd want right here. Really nicely done. I mean, it's nice, hard book. Uh, you know, hard book, uh, three disc set. What is this, white vinyl? Yeah, white vinyl. The Zealot Gene is the name of the album. All right, Earthless. Night Parade of 100 Demons. Half Moon Run. Limited edition indie vinyl, Record Store Day Canada. Maybe uh, they're trickling their way down here, I'm not sure. Katie Lang, All You Can Eat. And Lady Ray, Piece of Me. This is the Indie Vinyl exclusive. Todd Rundgren, Todd. Another reissue by Friday Music. Kind of see what I'm talking about here. These are titles that uh, 10, 15, 20 years, nobody would ever have dreamed of reissuing these. But they're hard to find now, hard to find that nice and clean. Elvis's Promised Land. This is uh, the limited edition to 2,500 numbered copies on transparent and white marbled vinyl. Let's see, this is number 1,311. It's kind of hid by the barcode tag. The Fifth Dimension, Greatest Hits on Earth. Earth, one of the uh, first records I ever bought. Found it in a thrift store for, you know, a quarter or 50 cents when I was 12. All right, also, we got a seven inch from Ghost. New single, Hunter's Moon and Halloween Kills. So this is on blood red vinyl. Got a restock of Pink Floyd's Pulse. This was a record that, uh, this box set, this is the you know modern reissue of it. When it was awaiting repress, people were paying 250 bucks for it, so. Yeah, it is back in stock and uh, not 250 bucks. So this is a 40th anniversary version of Bob Marley and the Whaler Survival. This is on limited edition colored vinyl. Doesn't specify the color here. All right, we've got Paul McCartney's uh, Wings Over America. This is a, I thought this was a colored vinyl. Remastered at Abbey Road Studios. Three disc, 180 gram audio file vinyl with a souvenir tour poster. Tesla's Five Man London Jam. This is on 2LP set on, what is this on? I wanna say this is on colored vinyl, maybe blue and red. A wine vinyl version of U2's The Unforgettable Fire. So these are just color variations. This is uh, U2's October on cream vinyl. With a 16 page booklet. I was gonna say, man, that feels kind of heavy. What is this? I don't know why this is here. Tank in the Bangles. This is a record store day release from 2018. I've been so busy trying to get the new store set up. I didn't really kind of monitor what was put into the new arrival pile this week. Abba's Vooly Voo. This is a half speed mastered version. And I showed this last week, but why not? It's here. Bad Company's uh, Rock and Roll Fantasy. A Rhino Start Your Rear Off right title. All right, guys, that is it for this week's new arrival video. All this stuff can be purchased online at our website at www.theingroove.com. Until next time.